Now it's time for everybody's favorite subject, math. Answer the three questions correctly, and you might get something special. Just type the correct answer into the empty box. Press the enter key on your keyboard when you think you have the right answer. It is math time. Hello guys, welcome to your second class of math. For this time, you will need your book and your math notebook because you need to take notes from the video, from the lesson. Well, it's going to be just as we were in the classroom. You need to write your notes and then copy some exercises. After that, we're going to solve the book. So just in order to practice what we just learned. And today's topic is addition and subtraction of liters. Do you remember what is a liter? Well, it's a unit of measure. And it also is for liquids, right? It is also spelling like this. Liter in British English, I mean in American English, and liters in British English. Well, and as I just told you, unit of measure for liquids. It is, or it means that it's used for capacity. Capacity is how much liquid fits in a container. I'm pretty sure that you have one of these, or a lot of these, in your house. And here, it is very usual when we're cooking, because some recipe says, add 300 milliliter, milliliters of milk, or add um, 2 liters of water. Well, it is how can we uh, measure liquids. Well, this unit of measure is made of a thousand milliliters. What does it mean? Here it says 500 milliliters, that is equals a half, two half liters, right? Well, let's start our lesson. But it is important for you to learn some words that mean subtraction I need you to add these words into your math vocabulary, all right? When you see these words, that means that you will have to subtract, okay? I'm telling you this because your homework is going to be solve some, pro some problems. But well, let's go ahead and open our book. You're going to work on page number 88 and 89. Well, let me show you the page. You will find those exercises in those pages. As you can see, it says addition and subtraction, liters. Example 1. A bucket contains 3.85 liters of water. A further 1.6 liters of water is added. Well, here is the keyword. What do we have to do? An addition. Okay? Well, how much water is there in total in the bucket? We have to check and we can see we have the addition already there. It is 3.85 plus 1.60. 5 plus 0 equals 5. 8 plus 6 equals 14. We write the 4 and we take 1 above the 3. We add them together and we have 5. 4 plus 1 equals 5. Well, our answer is 5.5. 45. That means the total is 5.45 liters or 5 liters, 450 milliliters. Remember, for each thousand milliliters that you um, get, it's going to be a liter. 
Well, in our example two says, an oil drum has hold 85 liters of oil. 12.65 liters of oil is taken out. That means that we're taking out, all right? So we have to subtract. That's going to be our key word. Well, the question is, how much oil remains in the drum? And we have the operation right there, arrange it. Can you see that they are aligned? Decimal, the decimal point and also the, uh, the numbers according to their value. Tens, thousands, hundreds, units. All right. We're going to make the subtraction and zero minus five we can do that so we can ask for another one and we're going to subtract five from ten and the answer is five and then we're gonna do again but since we already borrow a unit to the zero we have nine minus six equals three well the five lend a unit to the neighbor so it's going to be 4 minus 2 equals equals 2. Okay, and then uh, 8 minus 1 equals 7. So the answer is 72.35 liters of or 72 liters and 350 milliliters remains in the drum. Well, guys, I made some figures for you that is going to represent the exercise A and the exercise C. We're going to do that together. In the first one, we have a jar, a pitcher, sorry, that holds 135 liters. And it is paired with a container that holds 1.28 liters. Well, after that, we're going to solve some, uh, some questions about those. In the exercise C, we have a pitcher that holds 950 milliliters and a bucket that holds 1.4 liters. Now, let's look at the pairs of containers. We have four exercises, okay? And then in the number one, the question number one is, how much water would you need to fill each pair of container? What is a pair? Pair, we have a pair of shoes, we have a pair of eyes, we have a pair of eyebrows, we have a pair of hands, so we have a pair of items that holds water. So, together, or to fill both of them, we need to find the amount that we need to put water in both of them and fill them, okay? Well, what do we have to do? What is my keyword here? I'm going to do an addition. So my units are 1.35 liters and 1.28 liters. What do we have to do again? We have to add them. Okay, let's answer this together. In this, guys, I made you a recommendation because certainly sometimes the L for liters, we can be confused and think that is is this uh, the number one and it is not, is the liter. So I recommend you to do something that, you, that helps you to, this, the, to see the difference, okay? Well, five plus eight equals 
13 and I'm going to take the one here. I'm going to add the 1 to the 3 and it's going to be 4 plus 2 equals 6. Finally, look at the point and it's go right in the same place. And then 1 plus 1 equals 2. Which units we're talking, uh, we're working with liters. So, the answer for the question number one, how much water would you need to fill each pair of containers for the letter A? We need 2.63 liters. Do the same with the exercise B. And now for the exercise C, look at them, look at the pair. We have a pitcher that holds 950 milliliters and a bucket that holds 1.4 liters. Okay, guys, please pay attention with this because as you see, they are different units, units of measure. Also, when we're, we are talking about liquids, 950 is not a liter, all right? So watch out on the val uh, positional value. All right, let's answer. I mean, let's write 950. And here we have 1.4 liters. So the four is going to be here and one point here. Okay, here we can add a zero so we won't get confused. And also remember that if you have empty spaces here, it doesn't matter if we add zero, it won't affect my grade. Let's add them together. Zero plus zero equals zero. Five plus zero equals five. Nine plus four equals, I can't hear you, 13. I'm going to write my point right away and then I'm going to put the one above the zero. And then we will have 1 plus 1 equals 2. So my answer is 2.30, I mean 2.350 liters or 2,350 milliliters. Okay? Well, now let's, we have the answer for the question one. How much water would you need to fill each pair of containers? For the exercise one, how much, do, do you remember how much do we need? 2.63 liters. And for the exercise C, we will need 2.63 350 liters. Well, guys, I need you to answer by yourself exercise B and exercise D because we need to give answer to the question one. Okay, let's continue with the question number two. And it says, what is the difference between the capacities of each pair of, contain of containers? Do you remember what does difference? Difference mean what's the difference between the capacities of each pair of containers? For D, we need to subtract. And we're going to work with the same exercises. Alright? So which were our measures of our first pair pair? In the letter A. There were 
135, which one is the biggest? 135, so it's going to be above, right? meters minus one point twenty eight liters. Can we take eight out of five? No, we can't. So He's going to go with the neighbor and ask for a unit. And then it's going to be six. Okay, so 15 minus 8. How much is it? Seven. This is not a 3 anymore. Now it is a 2. 2 minus 2 equals? Write the decimal point right away, our beautiful point, and then 1 minus 1 equals 0. Okay, that means the difference between these two containers are 0 0.07 or 70 milliliters, okay? 17 or 700, 70 milliliters, so very very little let's do the same with our letter b you do it by yourself because we need to give an answer for all the four pairs but we will work with the letter c again what is the difference between my green container
the bigger is this bucket because it holds four liters and five hundred and fifty milliliters. So this is you can circle it and we're going to check now what is the smallest, the opposite. And the smallest one, this is our friend that is not even a liter. All of them are more or contain more than a liter. So difference mean which operation? I can hear you. Okay. Four liters point five hundred and fifty milliliters minus the difference means a subtraction minus nine hundred and fifty milliliters. Well, in this case, since we have a decimal point here, we can call them liters. Zero minus zero equals zero. Five minus five equals zero. Five minus nine, we can do that. So we go to the neighbor's house and ask for a unit. 15 minus 9 equals 6. We write the point away and this is not a 4 anymore. Now it is a 3 and we not taking we're not taking anything from it so the difference between the largest bucket is 600. The largest and the smallest. And finally, we have the activity B that it says, what is the total capacity of the three largest containers? We need to take a look again in our four pa pairs and check which ones are the biggest. We already have one, and this is the biggest one that holds four liters and five, 550 milliliters. Now, which, which one is the following that is bigger? Let's write away 4.550. The less, the next is 1.8, 1.4, I think it's the this time. So it's going to be 2.14. And we need the following one. Which one it is? I think it's the milk container. The milk container holds 1.8. If they say together, it's a keyword that indicates that it's going to be an addition. Remember, we can fill empty spaces with zero. Now, let's add. Zero plus zero plus zero equals zero. Five plus four, nine, plus zero, nine. Five plus one, six, plus four, fourteen, and we want to place the one here, so we can write our point. One plus four equals five, plus two, seven, plus one, eight. So the three largest largest buckets or containers together hold 8.490 liters. 
guys, your homework is going to be to solve page 89. Please, when you're reading, watch out for the key words so you're going to know what to do. Remember that the words will help you if you need to subtract or if you need to add. Read carefully and well, I, I will be waiting for your homework through the platform. Bye bye.